King of the Road. Thanks for watching the King of the Road Show. I'm Jim King. In case you haven't heard, I'm back on the radio airwaves. Listen to the all-new King of the Road radio show every Saturday afternoon from 1 to 2 on AM 1300 KSET, the talk of Southeast Texas. Like this program, the King of the Road radio show features exclusive live concert footage and interviews with famous and up-and-coming recording artists. Also listen to my local entertainment reports three times daily, Monday through Friday. KSCT is a great new locally owned and operated radio station. Listen live at AM 1300 or at KSCTlive.com. Now for this week's show. During the next 30 minutes, we'll air our exclusive with famed Canadian singer, songwriter, and storyteller Fred Eaglesmith. Eaglesmith's concerts are highly entertaining, and you'll want to stick around for him. But first, we'll look in the rear view at Dr. Katie Robinson Edwards' recent visit to the McFadden Ward House Visitor Center in Beaumont. Edwards is an assistant professor of art at Baylor University. Ride shotgun with me and hold on tight as we cruise to the McFadden Ward House Visitor Center. One man has the power to take you behind the scenes. Jim King of the Road. Jim King of the Road. Katie Robinson Edwards, uh, nice to meet you. She's an assistant professor of art at the Baylor University. We're here at the McFadden Ward House Visitor Center. And you're going to give a lecture in a, in a couple hours. And what are you going to be talking about here? Uh, well, a lot, and we're hoping that our audience can um, bear with me. But really, the McFadden Ward is focusing on the 1940s right now. So everything in the house is geared toward the 1940s, and they had Dr. Ralph Wooster in here talking about World War II and Texas. So Alan Lee, the curator of collections, invited me to come and talk about American art in the 1940s. But uh, and so I'm going to talk about American art, which is predominantly New York school, abstract expressionist, you know, drip, splatter school of Jackson Pollock. But also, I want to move and look at Texas art, because one of the things that I've noticed recently in the last couple of years is that Texas art doesn't get a lot of attention. So it's sort of a, a bifurcated talk where we look at comparisons between the two and make an argument that Texas art is pretty darn good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and here's an example here. Yes. Uh, That's a Texas artist there. It is. He is an artist. This is something that the McFadden Ward has in their collection. Mm -hmm. um, but this is an artist named Thomas Lewis who um, was in Texas for a while and then moved to Taos and had a very well-known, much bigger career in Taos mm -hmm. and started an art gallery. But this is also, um, Alan said this is from about 1940, and this is the kind of art that people tend to like because it's yeah. representational, it's realistic, you can relax to it. Don't go, what is that? Like they would for my father's artwork sometimes. Oh. So I'm glad you liked what you saw. Oh no, I like it very much. The prints of, of uh, my dad's work. Well, say? and in your dad's work, um, you can still see, you can still identify the images. Mm -hmm. And the problem that people have with abstract art is that the images, they don't know what it is. Right. It comes from the subconscious. It takes imagination to yes, figure out what's exactly. going on there. It takes a lot of effort. Mm -hmm. And it made people cross. That's the other interesting thing. They sometimes were angry oh, about cool. the art. Yeah, you know it well, don't you? Well, just to talk about my dad for a moment. They had a retrospective of him when I was living in Odessa. I was doing radio out there. And uh, I was real honored that they did that. It was about 20 years after he died. This was probably in the mid-90s. and. Uh, I was at the show and some lady came by and said, came by one of the paintings I was looking at and she said, I just don't get it. I don't know what all the fuss is about this guy. And she knew I was his son, so it was very strange. I, one of my favorite cartoons is um, by Peter Arno, New Yorker cartoonist. And it's about, it's, it's done in the 1960s. Jackson Pollock died in 1956 but it's making fun of the work. And it has two, it has, you can imagine this, but I'll give you an image of it too. But it has um, two gentlemen staring, looking at a Pollock style painting. And they're dressed in really nice clothes. And they say, um, one of them is making his judgment of the painting and he says, his dribble is masterful, but his spatter seems insincere. <laughs> <laughs> so you see them trying to get the language you know, uh -huh. to talk about this yeah. and try to develop, and it's just like, that. I just don't get it. And not everyone understood and appreciated the artwork of my father, William A. King, but he became a well-known artist in the southwestern United States before his untimely death at the age of 50 in 1976. 
In fact, my dad was listed in Who's Who in American Art. He also became the very first chairman of the art department at the University of Texas of the Permian Basin in Odessa back in 1973. Here are some samples of my dad's work. My dad, William A. King, earned his Bachelor and Master of Arts at the University of Tulsa in the early 1950s. He also studied art in Florence, Italy, and had one-man shows and exhibitions all over the world. Anyway, the King family has always been proud of Bill King. Even though some of his art wasn't understood by everyone in our family, I happen to love it, and I'm the proud owner of several pieces of his work. There's more than just Bubba down here. We do, we do have some good artists. We've got yes. some talented yes. folks here. My golly. It is. Well, and, and you find it's a lot more than Bubba. And you'll find that even some Bubbas have some pretty interesting tastes. In sure. Art. So it's not just cowboy and western art or blue bonnets. Well, especially here in southeast Texas, there's, it's so rich. There's so much talent here in, in just every field. Like Rauschenberg, you mentioned. You know, we've got all kinds of athletes and movie mm -hmm. stars and country stars mm -hmm. and rock stars. From, from right here, and so we're glad to have you. This is Katie Robinson Edwards. She's assistant professor at uh, Baylor University. Mm -hmm. I went to Texas, sorry about that. Yeah, it's okay, I don't mind. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. This has been really fun. Thank you. I shot your dog. He was on the property. Thought he was a coyote on the run. I've been missing some chickens, so I pulled the trigger. It's the King of the Road Show. Coming up next, we'll have an exclusive interview and concert footage with Canadian singer-songwriter and storyteller Fred Eaglesmith, recorded live in Southeast Texas.